What's up guys, it's JCS Gaming here, and we are going to figure out this rift together. Actually, I've already figured it out. I've done about, uh, I don't know, six or seven runs. So basically what I'm going to show you is how to basically, you know, you take a look at this video, and you should easily be able to uh, complete the challenge rift, maybe on the first try, and also rank at the same time as doing it. Rank on the leaderboard as well. So I'm gonna try to beat my time. I am by no means an expert. By no means is this the best way to go or what to do. There are probably um, way better players out there killing it. Um, currently, I'm ranked. I'm my best time is three minutes and 48 seconds. So you can see that I'm. Uh, where am I here? Three minutes and 48 seconds. Five, six, six. Right here. 487th. Smack in the middle, basically. Of anybody that ranked in the top thousand and uh, so there you go I'm a mediocre player and now check out my route and you'll be able to figure it out for yourself here we go this is the necromancer build uh, we could probably go over a few things but not not really I mean for the most part you're using uh, blood rush of course to you know to speed up a little bit just kind of like jump through the packs uh, for your speed kind of a speed burst or a teleport a mini teleport think of it that way uh, but it is going to use up health, and sometimes I end up, my problem is I spam it a little too much, and that draws the health, and I end up killing myself. So you got to be careful not to kill yourself uh, doing that, of course. Command Skeletons is going to be like, you know, when you hit that pack, or when you hit that big group that you really want killed, like, right now, Command Skeletons is just going to wipe them out. So you want to make sure you're ready for that, make sure your essence is loaded for that as well. Then, of course, Land of the Dead with, uh, um... Let me see here. Let me get on here. Then you can take a look at it. The Frozen Lands rune. I couldn't remember the name of the damn rune. Uh, so enemies in Land of the Dead are periodically frozen. So you can freeze enemies. But sometimes you got to be careful with this because when you're using Land of the Dead um, and you're freezing a lot of enemies, you start, sometimes get stuck and you're trying to move around them. And if they don't get killed quick enough, that can kind of become a pain in the ass. So I've kind of stayed away from that a little bit. Um, then Devour uh, with the uh, Devouring Aura. Uh, rune the range of this effect is increased by your gold pickup radius so you know you're you're emitting an aura that consumes nearby corpses to restore essence so that's how your essence uh, um, what is the word I'm trying to look <laughs> your rebuilding of essence I don't know there's a word I'm missing there but it's really late it's like four in the morning for me uh, so there you go your resupply of essence there's another word I want and I can't think of the damn word but whatever you're probably thinking of it right now let's go challenge it let's go let's see what we can do Gotta be kind of quick here. I kind of just want to blast through most of these guys right off the bat. Um, see how you can kind of get really easily stuck on everything. Uh, but I don't want to do that. No, I'll kill some of these guys. Get my skeletons in here. I'll go right up here. I'll turn right to the right here because there's like a yellow dude. There's a little bit of a pack here. Get those first globes. The one thing about this Necromancer build is this is the... You know, these skeletons and ghosts that are all behind you. It's like they blend in with the orbs. The orbs are kind of like that greenish teal color. And that becomes a problem. We'll hit that po power pylon right there. And we go back. And really, that there was nothing up there that, but a dead end to that in the hallway. You could probably not even get that power uh, pylon. And you'd be fine. But a little bit slower than I want to be right now already off the bat. Here, there's the teal globes. You can barely see them. See, so sometimes you're not sure if you picked them up actually or not. That is really a pain in the ass. I wish they would do something to separate those from this build, but whatever. The minor complaint compared to the things that I'd like to see fixed. Getting stuck there a little bit more than I want to. Uh, I go in here because there's this pack here. It's kind of elite right here. So I want to smack him down. Try to pick up all the teal globes if you can see them. Just to get going as fast as possible. Turn around over here because there's a little pack over here. You want to kill this pack real quickly. You know, get through them. Uh, did I get them? I don't even know because I can't tell with the teal. So that kind of sucks, but I'm just going to go off the races. Let these guys kind of come out here and start fighting. Go with, take this right through this corridor right here. That way you can kill everything in here real quick. And then there's a pack coming up right here. You can go the other way, but there's no pack down there. So going up those stairs is pointless. There's more people to kill that way. And then there's a pack here. And once again, try to make sure you pick up all the globes because they're blending in. And here we are at the exit. Want to get the heck out of here as fast as possible. Then right here we get another one. Try to command skeleton him as quickly as possible. Try to make sure you get all the globes. You can barely friggin' see them. So enraging. Um, see if I can beat my time on this run. I don't know. I'm a little bit behind what I want to be. Just try to sort of skip through most of this stuff. In my opinion, to get to this other pack up here. Try to really kill them as quickly as possible. 
Gotta go back and make sure you get these orbs. Get that conduit. Now we get the speed and the conduit going. And I'm just trying to plow through this because there's not many people here anyway. There's not many things to fight. So I'm just trying to really get myself out of here. You can kind of do a little cruise around here real quick and just try to annihilate everything over here. But don't spend too much time on it. I'm already being slowed up right now. Just try to cut these corners as quickly as possible. Try to get out of here as quickly as possible. 50, 50 seconds isn't bad, I guess. Uh, try to get way up here. I try to do that every time. And kill this guy dude, right here. Oh man, I almost died. Oh, I don't want to do that. I do not want to die. Gotta get all the globes again as always. So you gotta go back for shit. That sucks. So we're getting close here. We're really close to being able to do it. Uh, there's a pack if we can get out of here. I just don't know if we're gonna make it out of here in time. I'm kind of in the middle right now. And I hit the damn button. Oh man. Okay, so let me get out of here. So this is gonna be really close. Really close here. This is not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be a little ahead of where I am right now. Ooh, just, I'm not going to make it. But, you know I mean? This will get you ranked. Oh my god, I freaking died. I can't believe that. And I'm not doing takes. I'm not like... Like some people do like these 10 times until they get the perfect, you know, whatever. I'm not doing that. This is a really tough spot right here where you can die easily too. There you go. I killed him. Here comes the Rift Guardian. Um, and you should be able to just rip the Rift Guardian in pieces in two seconds. And there you go. I didn't beat my time, but you know that will four minutes will get you well past the original runner's time of six minutes. So you're two minutes ahead. Um, I think you could you somebody who plays this character better and somebody who's just more competent than me could definitely easily do a 3:48 like I did the first time, if not a three minutes. And uh, so they have it. This week was it was kind of fun. This week a little bit. It was a little bit. It's definitely better than that monk week. What was it? The monk and the uh, the witch doctor. I don't remember which weeks were bad, but I know that the, the the demon hunter last week was a little bit better than what we've seen. Plus, I'm I play a uh, unhallowed essence demon hunter, so that was like familiar to me. So I was happy with that. But it was it was definitely better than the last few weeks before that. My God, it was like they were trying to get us to smash our heads through the the PC or whatever. But uh, guys, follow me here on uh, YouTube. I'm back on this YouTube channel doing this. I have a couple other YouTube channels where I have like 50,000 subs and like 30,000 subs and I talk about other things, but I am launching my gaming channel back full time. I bought Diablo 3 the day it came out uh, back in uh, May of 2012, whenever it was. I've uh, been playing Diablo since forever. You know, I was around when the first Diablo came out. It's very pumped for Diablo 2. Played that for years as well. I would call myself a middle of the road uh, to probably just middle of the road gamer I suppose I'm not exactly uh, one of the most brilliant people ever and because of all my jobs and stuff I'm pretty hindered um, but I do have sometimes a different take and some things to offer and some things to talk about I want to make a video on the patch notes the other day because the patch notes are just so crazy like dude we are getting buffed insane uh, when when this patch hits I've been on the PTR messing around with it and I was like damn I was I, pff, funny enough I'm just able to hit greater rift 70 the other day um, it's just, again, because I've been behind in the game so much, but, uh, now I've been back to playing it full time over the last few weeks. Um, but up until then I was playing this game very part time, very part time. Like we're talking about a couple hours a month for like three years. Uh, whereas during the first two years of its launch, I was off and on with, you know, hundreds of hours played, you know, w weekly. So, um, not, not hundreds of hours weekly, but I would say maybe like 20 hours a week at least. So, you know, it's something that I'm back on playing pretty heavily now. And so look for more videos from me, some more stuff, some more ideas. I mean, I'm not, once again, I'm around Paragon 650. And, but I've been playing this game since it started. I've been following it pretty much uh, monthly since it launched. So I've always been here. I know what's going on. I know most of the things, but perhaps I can learn something from you. You can learn something from me and we'll figure it out. And <laughs> the first few months of this game, I spent trying to just make money on Diablo, which I never thought I was going to do. I couldn't wait to dive into the game. And then I found myself being obsessed with auction house and flipping stuff and all kinds of stuff. And that really took over my 
my life for the most part. It was kind of crazy. Uh, when, when that went away, I became a little bit depressed about it being away and how that was that became my game as far as Diablo, which you never I never thought would because, you know, I mean, originally for me it was like, oh, what's the loot going to be like and what's the drop rate going to be like and how is it going to play and what's it going to look like? And, you know, it doesn't really look as dark as Diablo 2. What's up with that? And they blizzardized it more, you know, or whatever. But all in all, I'm very happy with how this game has... I'm happy with how the game turned out. You know, with all the negativity at the beginning, and there's been this weird stigma with the game that I, that unfortunately is going to follow it until its death, you know, until its end or until it never ends, whatever the case is. And um, that's fine, but for, for us, you know, the ones who enjoy it or the ones who still continue to play it, even though it's not exactly Diablo 2, it is Diablo 3, and I love it. And honestly... If they if they were to go back to the Diablo 2 format, while I would while I would enjoy that, I would miss this format. And when this format came out, as opposed to Diablo 2, I missed Diablo 2 greatly. So it's very strange. It's almost like your your girlfriend of a long time breaking up with you, but then meeting a new girl. You you may still miss the other one in some ways, but now you're excited about the new one. But maybe that's not the best analogy because when when the new girl comes along, you're like, I love this girl. But uh, when Diablo 3 came along, it was like, whoa, what's what the hell is this? Oh, wait, I do like this. Okay. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a different take. I'm babbling on, but hope you guys sub down below. Uh, more to come from me. And uh, appreciate you guys. Hope you give me a sub and I'll be doing a lot of Diablo on here. I will be doing a little bit of Madden NHL 18 on Xbox. Um, you know, Halo, Call of Duty. Uh, we might dive a little bit into some other stuff, and but that's all I can say right now. But if you're a Diablo person, definitely stick with my channel because I'll be doing, hopefully, Diablo videos every other day at least. My name is JCS Gaming. Hit that sub button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.